for watching. And I want to share with you the first tournament that I fished this year. It was January the 21st. It was an ABA Open at a goose pond. And I'm going to tell you up front, I didn't do as well as I would have liked to. But that's the reality of things, right? We always don't have a good tournament. And this year, I want to share with you the bad as well as the good. And hopefully you can learn from some of my mistakes. And stick around because at the end of the video, I'm going to give a fishing report, some updates, and some things that might help you guys out. Thanks for watching, guys. first area I stopped in put a little blooper in there for you because it gives you an idea how my day started and didn't have any luck in this first spot I had one thumped the rattle trap really hard on the drop ran towards me I couldn't keep up with him I couldn't catch up with him he pulled off uh, fished there for I don't know probably an hour hour and a half with no more bites so I decided to move after that <laughs> next area I stopped in was a grass point near a channel swing not too far off the main lake uh, I figured there'd be more more than one fish in there you know after I caught that one I got kind of excited I thought yeah this this is the deal this is where I'm gonna fill my limit right here and hopefully cool but that didn't happen um, looking back now I wish that I would have changed colors I wish I would have went to the royal shad color because the day before I had caught a few but I didn't. I um, apologize for the horrible noise that my reel makes when I cast it, but it obviously did not like the dip in the lake it took earlier, but nothing that little oil won't fix. Come on. This next spot was very similar to the last spot that I fished and got one fish out of there and same deal. I stayed in there for probably a good 45 minutes an hour fishing around. Not another bite. Oh, 
This last fish catch was the biggest fish I caught of the day, which nothing large by any means. Uh, it would have been good if I could have had five of these, but that didn't happen. This was a uh, fish was a little under four pounds. Caught it on a half ounce green pumpkin jig with a chunk trailer. Uh, I had another fish on this area, had it right at the boat, come on pin. It was a good two and a half, maybe three pounds. Appreciate you watching the video and i apologize for the footage i only had the gopro on the console and i didn't have my chesty on hopefully next time i fish a tournament or put a video out that that'll change maybe that'll be up and running i'm hoping i'm hoping so and if not then the least i could do looking back at this video is show the fish catches put the fish up to the console so you can see what size fish it was i, I like seeing that myself so i'm sure you guys do also but as far as baits go, uh, I already went over, you know, half ounce green pumpkin jig with a chunk trailer, um, half ounce booyah, one knocker, sexy shad. And the day before I caught them on the Royal Shad, I should have thrown that some. And I did hear some guys talk about catching them on a uh, bladed jig, a chatter bait. And I tried that earlier in the week, didn't have any luck. So I didn't even pick it up at all uh, the other day during the tournament. Um, one thing that I was going to do, I had a, about two and a half hours left in the tournament and I was going to run down river to try to catch some spots just to fill my limit. And I looked down at my gas hand and I only had a quarter tank of gas. So bad planning on my part. Um, another thing looking back, I might could have done is I, I went to the North Saudi bridge late during the day. I only had like 30 minutes left and there was tons of bait fish everywhere. I did see some schools of bass chasing. So might've been a good idea to stick around there while I'm throwing a rig or jerk bait. So hopefully that'll help, help you guys out if you come to Gunnersville or you're going to be fishing anytime soon. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay safe and good fishing.